Welcome to the oversimplified explanation on Little guys here we will be attempting to explain all of the mechanics, in a comprehensive and non-schizophrenic way. He serves as the builder of the game simply, press anywhere on the screen and start placing the blocks in. The guy works as the demolitions man for the crew and by pressing on the block you can, delete it simple as that. Having a variety of colors to choose from, select one of them and press on any block to color to the chosen color. Working as the sculptor he can make a variety of different sculptures by simply, selecting a type and pressing on the block to sculpt it up. This little guy serves to change the texture of the blocks you click basically, just like the red and yellow little guys, but using the same generic Roblox textures. The orange little guy allows you the ability to change the blocks direction, simple as that. He can change the opacity to blocks. Place platforms under you in a single click to facilitate positioning while building and, with the latest update you can drag it up and down with its arrows. Spawn carts, bounce pads and teleporters in a press of a few buttons. Sadly the teleporters and carts have placing limits, and the teleporters can't be colored for some reason. Pick a block then a decal it and then, start placing it onto the blocks. Build mode is the vanilla mode of this game, where you just simply build and play with the little guys. Play mode completely changes the game and trades off the little guys for more movement options like crouching, double jumping, jump dashing and wall climbing. For now I feel it's pretty lacking in certain ways but it's a neat addition to have in case you'd want to build a platformer. And thank you viewer for watching an overly simplified explanation on little guys.